good morning, good afternoon. Yes, this is Minister Danny once more again. And we are live from the house of Nazareth. And today's presentation is all about sexuality and the church. Sexual sexuality and the church. I've came up with a whole new playlist. I went and checked today, and I'm seeing 48 views for my latest, one of my latest body of the work called Call Me If. Call Me If. Call Me If. <laughs> ah, you know, there's some things that happen in society that when they do happen, we try to polish them as a church we polish them we try to perfume them we try to do all type of things to make them look good but let me tell you something about shit shit smells regardless of what you do you could perfume shit you could polish shit it will always be shit shit will always smell you understand um I hold that a little children in, plug it in on forbidden fruits. This is not for kids. This is for adults. This is for church, mature church people. I will never discuss these topics in the presence of my children or any of the music that's going to be on here. I will never play in the presence of children because they have that respect. You understand? But I want to give you a little a bit of a backstory about my past and how did I get here to be discussing such matters of sexuality and the church. Now I was part of a church, I'm not gonna name call the church, but within the church organization that I was part of, they practice abstinence amongst the singles and they practice hypersexuality <laughs> amongst the married and as a single while I was there for some time before I first fell victim to um, sin again I would have abstained three years without any sexual activity as a heterosexual male and let me tell you something, as a heterosexual male, to start having sex for three years is not an easy thing. Especially if you used to having sex. I mean, if you were, if you never had sex before, I don't know what the urges are like. But I know for me, the urges were like something else and the temptation was like something else. Right? So... I say this to say that one of the things that I noticed while I was there being a part of that organization was the fact that although the married had the right had all rights to have as much sex as they want it was on the reverse sometimes instead of the married having sex on point sex on sex on sex on sex on sex on sex you found I found that it was singles who were backing it off constantly in church church settings right I find that we don't like to discuss sex openly in the house of God while we, we listen to me when you go to the Old Testament you 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 and you read about sex it says and I come in came into her I came into her and this body came into this body and this body came into that body that is the way how they describe sex and this body begat. We don't speak in terminologies like that anymore. 
do you do we walk as a church and say um this body begat this body and this body came into this body no we use the language of the day we should at least we should use the language of the day probably begat you never know begat was offensive back then to people but it's not offensive no because we read it over and over again so it's not offensive right I think we as a church we need to stop pretending so much when it comes to sexuality and the church we need to be real about sexuality no the whole thing about me abstaining for the three years and watching others try to do it I saw people failed at it I was not the only one that failed at it there were other people amongst me that failed at, failed at it miserably and then there were some who were good at it according to Jesus he said in, the, in, in, in Matthew in the book of Matthew that some were created as eunuchs by men and there's others who were created spiritual eunuchs but I am not a spiritual eunuch I'm a I am a very I have a very a very big sex drive so I require sex all the time and I have the proof of four children me I have the proof of four children right I require sex all the time but in those days the married were not having as much sex as the singles why explain that to me if you, marriage is marriage is supposed to be a license for you to have sex but you know when things come problems come in a marriage right when problems come in a marriage and condense yourself in the mess sometimes it's very hard for you and a partner to have sex as much as you the desire sex when you you first meet the person it now becomes more about attitude rather than the sex itself am i making sense to anybody am i making sense i want to keep these videos as short as 10 minutes and i want to engage my audience with things like this Think not that I have come here to be a slack minister of God. I'm not a slack minister of God. I just put things out in a way that they happen. You see the part of the song when I said in Call Me If where rings went down the toilet bowl? That's no lie. There are people that do that. There are people that do that. Let me tell you something, right? A horn is one of the hardest things to get over and to forgive. You hear what I tell you? Especially for a man. You understand me? Women tend to think less about the act. Because I heard, I heard a terminology here recently that blew my mind. Came out of a woman's mouth for lack of a better word a almost horn you understand a almost horn women got some terminologies for things for cheating that men can't even begin to come up come perceive yet you, you understand a almost horn you either get horn or you did I don't know what is an almost horn you understand me you either get horn or you did it my song call me if is about horn. You understand what I show you? Dexter Dab happens to be on the good side of a horn. I happen to be on the bad side of it. Because I is the guy who now have to using myself and as an example, not saying that I'm getting horn right now. But I'm using myself as an example that in the midst of a call me if there's two parties. And he called me if. And he called me if 
is the horn and the horn of man is the horn a woman or the horn so both can tell two different stories and let me tell you something right you hear my song using be Beijing part one cursing and you, and you, you go to it and you say you know what Minister Danny used he's a Christian and he is supposed to use bad words and when I was a young artist coming up I met Trevor Eastman he used to come in my father rum shop I don't know what become of Mr. Eastman but I hope that Mr. Eastman is still alive I haven't heard that he's dead or not Mr. Mr. Eastman used to curse a lot when he was to be at my, my dad's shop I know one day what uh, uh, Mr. Eastman told me Mr. Eastman sir I can't curse I can only use abusive language and I thought about it I thought about it which man can curse the only body that can curse is God and the devil if somebody curse you they can only use abusive language but they cannot disrupt your life unless God allows it you hear what I tell you God got God had to allow the devil to get at Job the God had to allow the devil to get at Job or not or not Job would have been freed of all the curses all the torment that he had to go through you understand what I'm saying to you guys so what I'm what I'm saying to you is that I use language that is not far fetched from the people that take part in these very scenarios. I want to be as real as authentic. You see, when you come to this part of the playlist where it says forbidden fruit, tell your child, your kids not to listen to it. You understand? But this is this is this is big people conversations here we having. This is big people conversations we having. We know how a horn can make people feel, and we know how a horn can bring out the worst in people. We know that. You hear what I tell you? And if you think that me seeing the R hole, or me taking rings and pelting down the toilet, or me doing things like that there, not say I did it. There's people that do 20 times worse things than that. And in church. You hear what I tell you? But when it comes to the church, we must always treat sex as though it's a taboo. It's a taboo subject. We can't talk about it. We can't discuss it. We gotta pretend that we holy. The church is full with too much hypocrisy. And Minister Denny is not a religious person who is filled with hypocrisy i am not i am not and i will not take part in anything like that that is lies it is lies you see when this thing goes down in the street you need to come to the part of the, uh, 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 the world that these things happen you know the 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 highest the terrorist thing I understand about coming out and balling out nobody because you know why they just stand in the house their homes and they're gonna take the pressures of horns they're gonna get horn on top of horn and them can be too they may want nobody know the business but you see down the ghetto where I, I is everything has come up on the streets you hear what I tell you everything and it's come up raw raw you hear what I tell you and you know it that live in the ghetto with me and I know it you understand what I mean Jesus Christ called men empty tombs maybe that was a hard thing to call a spring back in the day to hear that somebody telling he that believe in God, my mind was an empty, one of the empty, empty tombs. The, I think about the other word to use, sepulchers, empty sepulchers, for lack of a better word, 
pronunciation. You wanna like empty sepulchers. You understand know I me? Mean? Maybe that song did offensive in that at that time. Right? But but you understand know what I mean? We don't call nobody use that kind of language you now. We use different language to express different things. You know what one language is something the linguistic of language is something that always change how come the people that may be bothered by nobody has said they're bothered by anything by the way but i know religious barbados we come here we let jamaica a bumba clap bumba clap is a curse word you don't have no they say it wherever they want to say it you don't bother bitches so why can't i use the r r button r button why can't i if you allow bumba clock you should allow the r button too you open the gates for the for bumba clock you got you should open the gates for the r button and i know where i went to this so this ministry is not you don't think you will invite i would, I would take an invitation to your church and then i will get on your platform and say r bomb no this is minister denny painting you see you see you, you see the you see the you see the the, 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 the the music i do i do it with a musical paintbrush the 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 notes are like the my my i take canvas the the the, the 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 rhythm is my canvas and i am painting it before your very eyes each and every time i go to a rhythm i'm painting it and i go to songs that i believe that he had a lot of problems. Let me tell you something. You see that call me if so? That causes a lot of men to get horn, you know. That song encouraged men to get horn. Left, right, and center. You understand me? So me saying what I say ain't as bad as you who suffered from that type of mentality. Because for one, the female she fell into it. And the meal executed it. Now I've been on both sides of the coin. You hear what I tell you? I've been in my life. I've been on both sides of the coin. I've been a horner and I have been a horny. You hear what I tell you? The horner they see real good. But the horny don't feel so good. And my song is about the horny. My song is about the horny, you know. The horny does get horny about do all kind of things. Worse things than you were you saying so church let me stop playing and save people let me stop playing and save people this is minister denny with another episode of forbidden fruits and that is going to be the next song that i'm going to bring forbidden fruits y'all can look out for that that is the next song that i can bring on this youtube channel and i'm seeing this youtube channel growing with views not with likes but with views which means people are paying attention and i want to promote this because i believe this is something that was delivered to me by god and it's of god i don't seek to be slapped i don't want to be slapped right yes so I looking for the next two rhythms. I uh, was saying this morning called but um squash rhythm, peace of mind. So the next song that I I did I did the the, the Christian version to peace of mind. You know what I mean? Squash version and like squash version, it's very nice. But we as Christians, when we when we um we de we depend upon God. We don't depend on ourselves for our peace of mind. Our peace of mind comes from God. Right? So, yes, guys. Have a nice day. This is Minister Denny. All for benefits, fruits. I hope I didn't upset Barbados with my song. <laughs> and some religious people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because them, they act like if. You know, there's some people that will act as though. As me saying the F bomb and the R bomb. Is the worst thing them ever hear, but they will get in the house and watch a movie that on the F bomb and the R bomb, and then not only that, they were going to take part in the same very thing they're talking about. They need to come out and tell people, you understand, 
how Mr. Melissa Denny should be singing this type of song and that type of song and this we live, we want to save people we don't want to be hypocrites if you come into a Christian and vibe PH is not about hypocrisy we about reality here on this page you understand know I me? Mean? A man can only tell you, tell tell he own his story, and my story can be different from yours. The things in it, everything I tell you about and think about is exper experiential, experimental. Sorry, any words give me a job to go. Means that I have experienced these things. I've seen them. I've heard them. If not myself. But, but from other people's sharing with me you understand what I'm showing you so uh, ain't like if I talking or to my I blow my wind out to my behind these things just happen and worse things you understand what I mean so uh, this is this episode is all about church and sexuality I don't know how you feel about it I don't feel if I don't know if you feel it's a, a subject that needs to be discussed openly in church or behind closed doors. So I know you miss a fella from off the pulpit. <laughs> and guess what happened? He fall. He fall. And you know the sum that this fall on the pulpit. I don't even want to admit that the fall. The only pulpit still ministering. They, they don't even want to take them time off. The one left this the, the God's pulpit and go right back into the arms. Are the lovers that the God Minister Denny and doing that so which is worse me seeing the R bomb or the F bomb I'm gonna do saying so or you up there upon the pulpit preaching and when you left the pulpit you're gonna commit a, 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 a act like that which is worse you work it out for me you work it out for me this is Minister Denny and look for forbidden fruits in my next song look for beat I got an idea about it, and then that's the next song I bring in. And then I look for two more. Right now, I'm looking at the at, at Christian Hood Boy Volume Two, and it's I'm looking looking how it's sung. You know, and uh, thing I can try to make each volume of twenty or twenty two tracks, so it coming along very 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 good. And y'all have been at least looking at it. <laughs> yeah. So have a great day, guys. Uh, thank you for all the the viewership. I continue to view uh, Christian Hood Vibes and to know about what Christian Hood Vibes is about and in and, and, and everything that we, 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 we present is, is purposeful not here to destroy church and to be bland you know nothing like that in that kind of vibes alright so big up on yourself big up God uh, thanks for listening to me today and uh, we will touch base again tomorrow.